Simple Pong in Python 3 for Beginners, Part 4, Moving the Ball. Um, this is really kind of the meat and the, the, the central kind of part of the program. This is where we actually get the ball to move. Um, so we need to get it to move, we need it to get it to bounce off the top and the bottom, and we need to get it to bounce off of the paddles. And so I'm going to show you how that's going to work, uh, because we have our paddles can move, and but the ball does not yet. So let's uh, get started with that. And so what I want to do... Uh, is with the ball is I want to separate the ball's movement into two parts um, an X movement and a Y movement um, so what I'm going to call that I'm going to say ball dot DX D means Delta or change um, you can you can call it X speed or whatever you want to but DX works very very well uh, now on my computer I found that two n the number two works very very well uh, my computer at home Actually, it was like 0 0.1. It's, it's much, much faster. I don't know quite know why. Uh, so you might have to play with the numbers here uh, to get it you know, to, to where you feel the game should be. Um, so, so dx and dy equals 2. So what that means is every time our ball moves, it moves by 2 pixels. So since x is positive, it's going to move to the right 2. And since y is positive, it's going to move up 2. So it'll be kind of moving up and diagonally. Okay, so to get that to actually happen, we have to go inside the main game loop. Okay, and in here, I'm going to say move the ball. So what we need to do is ball.setx. Okay, and what we want is the current x coordinate. So I'm just basically kind of combining what I did up here into one line plus ball.dx. Okay, so the ball starts at 0, 0, so 0, x. So the first time through this loop, it's going to go 2. Then the next time through the loop, it's going to go 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So depending on your computer speed, it could just fly off the screen or it could, it could go a little bit slower. Um, so again, you'll have to play around with that a little bit. Um, so then I'm going to say ball.sety. And basically the same thing. I could have copied and pasted, but I should have done and ball.dy. Okay. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to test it and see what happens. And you see some red lines here. I think there's going to be a, maybe be a problem. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to run that and I'll explain why it's not going to work. Okay. So you can see here I've got an error. And this is something, again, beginners, I don't know why, uh, do not want to read error messages. Um, the error messages basically tell you what's wrong. Um, so you see here it says tab error, inconsistent use of tabs and spaces. Okay, so uh, I mentioned this in an earlier video. Um, so here I used four spaces, but here it's a tab. Okay, you got to use the same thing each time. So I'm going to go with four spaces. That's actually the preferred method. Now I can set my editor up so when I hit a tab, it changes it to four spaces automatically, but I'll do that another time. Okay, so I'm going to run that, and hopefully we'll see the ball move. Okay, so plus going plus and right off the screen all right which is what we expected okay so that's that's good so now what we need to do is we need to do some border checking so what do we want to happen when the ball hits the border okay so since it's moving up and to the right we'll, we'll do the top border first once we get the top border working then it's easy to get the bottom border working okay, so what we have to do is we have to compare the ball's y coordinate Okay, so once it gets to a certain point, we want it to bounce. Okay, so if you recall earlier in the program, we set the height of the window to be 600. So, so that means that the, the top Y coordinate is plus 300, the bottom is minus 300. Okay? But the ball itself is 20, 20 high by 20 wide. Okay, so what we'll do then is we'll kind of split the difference. So we're going to say if the ball dot y core, so if the current y coordinate is greater than 290, okay, colon, and I got to use spaces. It's, it's telling me. One, two, three, four. Uh, if it's greater than 290, what we do is we, we set it back to 290. This avoids uh, certain types of problems. 
And then what we need to do is we say ball.dy times equals negative 1. Okay, and what that does is it reverses the direction. Okay, so if dy is 2, so dy minus negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, and that should reverse the direction of the ball. So let's run that. Okay, so let's watch it, and boom. Very good, that's exactly what we wanted to happen. Okay, now since this is working correct, exactly as we want it, I'm just going to copy and paste that and just make some changes. So on the other end, if it's less than negative 290, we set it to negative 290, and that is that. So let's test that. To test that, we'll need to start the ball off with a negative dy for now. And again, notice how I'm making a change, testing, making a change, testing. Okay, it's working. That's about what we wanted. It was a little bit off screen there, but we'll, we'll let that go. Um, so that's the borders. That's the top and bottom borders. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing we need to do is the left and right border. So this is where it gets uh, not more tricky or anything, but you got to think about what we want to happen. So in this case, because we're looking at left and right, okay, uh, we're not looking at the y coordinate. We're looking at the x coordinate. And now what we want to do is if the x coordinate, basically if it goes off the, the, the right side. So if you remember, we said the width was 800. So that means it's plus 400 on the left, minus 400 on the right. So let's say if it's greater than, we'll say 290, or sorry, 390. So that tells us it's basically it's gone past the paddle and it is off the screen. Okay. What do I have? Okay, so if that's the case, okay, basically we're going to put the ball back to the center, zero. And then what I, what I can do is I can maybe ball dot uh, dx may have it reverse direction. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Again, I'm testing it to make sure it works. And if it does, then I can copy and paste and do the other side. Okay, so we got an error. Um, ah, okay. So it says we got a lot of weird stuff here. That was a really long one. And Let me say here. So you say it says line 87. So here's the line where it thinks the error is. And there's a lot of different weird stuff. But basically what I forgot to do was 0, comma 0. Okay. So let's test that again. So it should go off the screen. Okay, now it went back to the center and reverse direction. Okay, so we know it works. So let's copy that. and paste it. And again, we're just going to reverse it. So if it's less than negative 390, and that's all we got to do. Okay, so again, let's test it. And hopefully it will come back. Okay, so that's basically, yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to happen. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop it. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to stop this one here, and in the next video, what we'll do is we'll get the uh, paddles to collide with the ball and have the ball bounce off the paddles. We'll leave this one as it is. Thanks a lot. See you soon.